Hey guys, this is an update on um, my Ficus Lorata or FLL or Philleaf Fig 2 and 3. I put them back together because I just didn't notice either one of them and the rest that I um, took apart and put them in their own individual pots to thrive at all. So I decided to put them back together and this is what they look like now. And um, I'm just going to show you something really quick here just to emphasize on it real quick. So when I would, when I separated them in separate pots, um, everything that I used when they were separated and together is going to be down below. However, the supplements weren't really there. Some of them were, um, but I've been adding a supplement, uh, like a new one since I think, I think when I was recording this, there probably wasn't a supplement for, um, for this particular plant, but now I think it already has like two or three supplements in here. I'm not really sure. I do have it in my notes. So, um, everything will be linked down below and the dose that I use. What I noticed, cause this has been in this pot for probably about two weeks in this section. And I, I didn't really update you guys right away. I, you know, life, whatever. But what I was trying, was trying to point out is that I couldn't put them together. This is the closest I could do because the, uh, root growth was massive when they were separated. So, you know, it just, I was very impressed and amazed and I wanted, I just wanted to share it with you guys. When I bought this, this was all like about a quarter and an inch or to a half an inch next to each other. They were that tight, but now they were, they're, they're, this is, this is so far away because the root system of this one is so massive. Like it takes up about like maybe a third or no, a quarter of the pot. And this one is as well. That one is as well. And this one as well, you know. So that's as tight as I could get them without damaging the roots or ripping it off. Essentially, that's really what it is. So now I'm just going to show you because ever since I moved it in this pot, um, I watered it and now I have some growth. I never had it when they were separated. So this has a teeny tiny growth right here. The next one, this one right here, um, there's really like a little nub right here if you could see it right there. Yeah, but that's about it. This one um, has two, one over here and one over here, which I'm very excited about that because, I mean, it's two. This one has nothing right here so i'm very disappointed with this one but i'm still you know i'm not losing any hope i'm hoping that um at some point if this doesn't really grow like i'll give it you know a few months i might have to cut it over here below the node um i mean above the node sorry <laughs> above the node to encourage growth just in case if this is like too damaged because it was already like this when I bought it. It sometimes, you know, when it's sitting at a store or a nursery, sometimes it just gets damaged by sitting there before someone bought it. So this one has a little bit of growth right there. This one has a leaf opening up and some growth here too. So this is going to be two. This one is going to be um, really awesome. I also have some new growth right there. This wasn't there when I actually transplanted it, so this is great. New growth is always great. Again, I fertilize every single time I water, and I don't know if I showed you guys this one. This one also has some new growth right there. So I fertilize this, and um, just so you know, I don't really... I think it's a combination, but the other 
the other plant, the fiddly fig that I do have, the number one, I do, I do plant vlogs for that one too. It doesn't get any plant lights. However, it does get like 12 hours of light because it's in a cathedral, um, cathedral ceiling kind of room. And the window with that one also has cathedral ceilings and it's right next to a window. With this one, it doesn't really, it only gets natural direct light uh, in the morning, but this is right next to my indoor lemon tree. So what happens is that this does get plant light supplement. Um, so I would really say for fiddly figs, if you do want them to grow and have new growth, I would recommend they really do, you really need to give them the nutrients and anything that they require, which is a lot of light, a lot of bright light, as well as um, I would suggest the fertilizing. For me, fertilizer, and I would suggest a supplement, those together really have made my fiddly fig like just thrive and just, just be so lush. One of the supplements that I ha I'm cur I have currently provided for this one, it promotes thicker branches, thicker trunks, th thicker um, thicker leaves, uh, bigger leaves, stronger plant all overall. It also has a different supplement that encourages root growth. Well, actually, two different kinds. Um, and the other supplement also does, um, encourage just overall growth root and the overall plant growth together. So these are all different kinds of supplements that after my research, it, you can use them all together. It's not, it's not a fertilizer, so you're not going to overdo it and kill your plant. So I really, really like that. And I think adding all of those together has really helped. So if you want that for your plant, um, I would suggest you do one fertilizer and one supplement, especially if you're in a budget. If you're good with that, then do that. Just ask me questions down below which ones you're thinking of. I would actually kind of suggest to use all of them together if you can, if you can um, do that because I feel like if you do that together as soon as possible, the faster they grow, the bigger they grow, the thicker they grow, the taller they grow. It's just, it's just quicker in that sense. So um, this is an update for this particular plant. Um, the next time I'm probably going to do an update is when there's going to be more growth. Hopefully the the new buds are going to just um, like the new new leaf growth is going to just wow me and just make me so happy with that um if you guys have any other questions that i didn't cover in this particular video let me know down below i hope you enjoyed my video you're gonna hit the like button if you want to chit chat questions advice from me or to me suggestions anything let me know down below about this particular plant or you just want to talk about gardening itself or the products that i use let me know down below. I love hearing from you guys all the time. I hope you enjoy my video. You're going to hit the like, the subscribe if you haven't yet. And of course, the bell so you're notified every single time I do upload a new video. Again, um, in regards to my plant vlog series, I do update that as much as possible. So um, do stay tuned for that if you enjoy watching that. I enjoy doing this a lot because if you're a plant lover... Like me, I actually get very curious about how other people take care of their plants, how a specific plant um, grows and thrives and what they did, what the, what the environment and the elements are and what contributed to its healthy growth or unhealthy growth. I, loved, I, I just love all of that. So if you're like me, you probably will love my, uh, my plant vlog series. So thank you guys and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.